So, I just spoke to Mr. Ho. Ho. Apparently, Asia is full of hoes. <laughs> Lots of hoes. And I also spoke to Mr. Sober. Mr. Sober. Mr. Sober, believe it or not. Was he sober? I couldn't tell. He hung up on me. Oh, he wasn't sober then. He well, right I couldn't there. tell. He, he couldn't may have been sober. No, he Maybe he wasn't been. sober. His name was sober. But uh, you never know about these people. What's in a name, anyway? So, schmuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about the uh, the door opening. Tell us about the door opening. This is Opening my, doors for people. This is my firm belief. This yeah. is how I was raised. It's in my mind. Yeah. When you go to the store, you go to the restaurant, anywhere. You anywhere. open the door. Yeah. For old people. Yeah, old people. And attractive women. And attractive. Only attractive women. Now, my thinking is for the old people, depends on how old they are. I kind of feel like I hold the door for them, they should give me money. And the women, if I hold the door for them, I'm entitled to at least a blowjob. At least a blowjob. I mean, those are the rules. It, you hold the door open for an attractive woman, right? Only, only for attractive, attractive women. Yeah. Ugly women, fuck them. They can open the door they for them goddamn selves. They gotta blow you, right? At least. They have to at least At blow least you. a blowjob. And it, if I have to hold the door for an extended period of time longer than two seconds. Longer than two seconds is entirely too long. They have to sleep with me. Yeah. They have to. Yeah, if a blowjob, a blowjob, and then fucking, sucking, yes. and then fucking. Sucking. And That's then what we want. In that order. In that order. Now, our next topic of conversation is the pasties. The pasties. The pasties. The okay. Pasties. We've already established that strippers sometimes wear pasties, booby pasties, right? Booby pasties. Booby pasties. There's booby pasties. We've already established that. There's yes. booby pasties. Now, now. Miley Cyrus, slut, rich, most tweeted bitch in the world, slut, did that wrecking ball video where she's butt ass naked, but yes. she doesn't show any frontal, right? No frontal. No frontal. But no she frontal. looks like she's butt ass naked, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, she's probably not really butt ass naked on the set. That would be inappropriate because you got all these horny union guys all yes. over the place. So she's probably wearing a pussy pasty. Yes. Right? Am no, I right? Pussy pasties. I'm right. I am also correct. Pussy pasties. Booby pasties and pussy pasties made by Procter & Gamble. Of course. You know. We have done our research we on this. We have done our research. It is a terrible atrocity that is occurring. It's horrible. In the sweatshops of Indonesia. Indonesia. I am Sir Dick Dickenbottom. And this is Fernando. Hello. And Fernando labors arduously, don't you, Fernando? I do. Arduously for 27 hours a day for one dollar a year. That is less than you would spend on a single latte, is it not? It Schmuck? Is, it is not. Yes. Arduously for one dollar a year assembling these pussy pasties for such luminaries as Miley Cyrus, amongst others, uh, Britney Spears unfortunately opts out of the pussy pasty, but something must be done. This Jordan fellow running these horrendous sweatshops in Indonesia with such poor chaps as Fernando, who labors arduously for 27 hours a day for one dollar a year, something must be done. What? I don't know. Because I am Dickenbottom. I have no answers, I only have questions. Ain't that right? That's fucking right. thick and bottom fag. What good is he? Stupid fucking faggot fuck. It was another queen that was knighted by the queen. God damn it. You know what we're gonna do right now? I think what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go see Gabby. Yeah, we'll go see Gabby. We'll come back to you in just a minute.